and then sometimes um, it really burns when I do it and that's because my doctor says that I hold on with too firm a grip when I we interrupt tinkle time with Oswald for this special announcement WILT TV 43 Opinionville interrupts this program for a community service announcement from acting mayor Jason Harding hi remember me so this is a quick update for everyone who uh, donated or wanted to donate to the St. Baldrick's Foundation um, event that happened this last weekend. Um, I am pleased to say that um, the Team REL group, whose uh, original fundraising goal was 5000 went well past that to nearly $10,000, thanks in large part to you guys. To everyone that donated, thank you. To everyone who wanted to donate but couldn't, thank you. It really meant a lot. The event overall, which had a goal of $250,000, actually at current count was more than $230,000 and will hopefully close in on the, uh, the overall goal um, as more and more of the monies are counted. Um, thanks to everyone who participated, wanted to participate, or didn't want to participate. Um, wait, why am I thanking you? In addition, some people have noticed that there hasn't been a channel news segment, and that's mostly because um, the channel news segment was largely due to um, updates for REL. Um, now that there aren't any current updates for REL, the channel news segment is kind of going through a retooling um, and may come back in a completely different form and probably with a puppet newscaster. Um, I'll have to see. I'm still working that out. In the meantime, for people who want to look at this adorable face, um, I am going to go ahead and open it up, open myself up to questions from people who have questions about um, Opinionville, you know, uh, if you have questions about uh, where I draw inspiration for the show, um, what started me on puppets, um, basically background stuff. Um, and sure, I'll include uh, questions directed towards the puppets themselves, um, but mostly uh, just questions that people have uh, been asking me. So if you do have questions, go ahead and, and leave them uh, down below in the comments bar, and uh, I'll start uh, answering them on a future segment. That's it. Uh, back to Tinkle Time. We now return to your regularly scheduled program, Already in Progress. So that's why I have to now take all of these antibiotics. Anyway, until next time, take a well, everybody. If you got a problem, don't know what to do. Funny Monster will pray for you. It's funny and got a tight. Together they'll set it right. Funny Monster prays for you. And that's when we release the doves. I thought we were releasing butterflies. No, my Aunt Porosita is terrified of butterflies. Butterflies killed her sister. Well, my Nana is terrified of doves. And a Nana outranks an ant, so we go with butterflies. Maybe we can compromise. What other animals can we release at our wedding? According to the guy at CaptiveWeddingAnimals.com, in our price range, we could release hounds, Yellow jackets, peacocks, rabbits, wookalars, or Ewoks. I don't know. Ewoks, maybe? Ah, eh, they crap everywhere and they smell like stale popcorn. Hey, is the camera on? Jess? Raul? Hello, everyone. It is I, Fundy Q Monster, and I am here to throw a holy life preserver to save the soul of one of you miscreants. Raul, can you read the prayer request? Of course. Today's prayer request comes from Duo Tonight, and he writes, Dear Fundy Monster, right after the holiday season comes the exam season, and I am wondering if you could pull some strings to help me ace all of my exams. In fact, maybe you could make everyone ace their exams. Any exams. Thanks and Merry Holidays. Raul. How late is this request? Well, we were busy with planning our nuptials and it got, uh, misplaced. Well, I'm sure that makes Duo Tonight feel better. 
For all we know, they flunked out of school and is now living in a refrigerator box under an overpass doing yucky unmentionables to strangers for spare change. Well, I'm sorry. I was just trying to make sure that our special day is perfect and all I get is criticism. Now, if you will excuse me, I will be in my office not crying while looking at a picture of you. Good day. <laughs> Raul, come on. Thanks a lot, Duo Tonight. Now I gotta spend all day cheering up a despondent fiancé. Anyways, let's get this tardy prayer over with. Don't worry, I'll make some adjustments. Hit me with that holy light! Hey God, it's me, F to the M. There's this guy named Duo Tonight that needs your help because he's too dumb to get A's on his exams. Or he's lazy and doesn't want to study. By the way, I'm kind of late in this prayer, so maybe you could work something out to help him out school-wise. I know! Strike down all of his teachers or professors or whatever. Don't schools give you, like, straight A's if all of your professors are killed in a biblical fashion? I suggest a plague of boils. Haven't used that one in a while. Or maybe flesh-eating locusts. Or both. Anyways, thanks, God. Amen. There you go, Duo Tonight. I just hired the greatest hitman in the universe so that you could slide through school with little to no effort. Now you can do all those things that uh, other college kids do, like drink until you can't see, experiment with drugs, and have premarital sex with people whose sexual health is questionable. Wait, what have I done? CaptiveWeddingAnimals.com for all of your captive wedding animal needs. We have a wide selection of mostly legal animals for you to choose from. From aardvarks to zebras, from antelope to laplanders. That that's an animal, right? We've got buckets and buckets of animals that you can use to symbolize your spirit of matrimonial love. Go to CaptiveWeddingAnimals.com or visit our warehouse. We're located off Highway 24 on Bumfuck Drive. Just follow the smell. CaptiveWeddingAnimals.com Cause it isn't really a wedding until you let animals loose on an unsuspecting public. <laughs>